What is a mystic? How would you describe a mystic to yourself or to someone else? In my explanation, which comes from self-discovery, a mystic is someone who walks a road looking for the divine truth and understanding within themselves and the surrounding world. For me, a mystic is someone who has multifaceted beliefs, who practices different parts of different religions and makes their own religion based on what they believe to be true. They have a deep need to research and discover, to investigate and feel for the truth. This truth may not be the same as everyone else's, but as an enlightened one knows, what may be someone else's truth doesn't necessarily mean that this is a truth and the only truth, for we each resonate with what is real for us. A mystic may follow and practice paganism and rituals as well as Christianity, this may include Buddhism, Judaism, Shamanism and any other religion which resonates with them. They may follow esoteric beliefs, believing that the answers that they search for lay within them. They see symbols and signs in everyday life, in dreams, meditations and many of them study art such as Reiki and Shambhala. They also have a heavy belief in angels, in fairies and the other elementals and feel that they have a direct connection with all divine beings. They are often psychic, empathic and as well as using themselves as an oracle, they use divining tools such as tarot or angel cards, rune stones, palms, psychometry, tea leaves and I Ching just to name but a few. When a mystic has devoted their time to study and self-enlightenment, they are able to walk with one step on earth and the other foot in an alternate reality simultaneously. They are able to become a constant channel and live life in the normal way which still being aware of divine messages and guidance. A mystic doesn't need to be initiated into any cult or religion in order to be enlightened or to be a mystic. They do not need to be part of any movement or group in order to practice or believe what they do. That is not to say though that a Christian cannot be a mystic or a Wiccan etc. Whatever you believe yourself to be is what you are. They see the world from a different angle than the usual human, seeing situations or events in a different light than perceived by others. They combine psychology and metaphysics to bring about healing for themselves and others and mystics are usually earth guides who realize that one of their life missions is to awaken and teach others in the mystical arts. They may take part of different religion and receive guidance to change it such as Jesus did since Jesus himself was a mystic. An example of this personally is how karma does not have to mean suffering and living lifetime after lifetime to heal but that we can heal from karma all in one lifetime or in as little as a few years. Again, many may not agree with this, but that is because they follow a structured religion and I belong to no set beliefs as I'm a mystic and I follow inner and divine guidance. A lot of mystics are highly misunderstood. They are often labelled as new ages or fluffy and many times looked down upon by certain religious groups when what they believe and practice was once upon the earth and practice in everyday life before it was turned into a religion. Mystics seem to stand out as many not believe in an organisation or religion and wonder aimlessly trying to find truth in one set of teachings or another only to feel alienated because they don't fit in to any specific belief system. What I find comforting on the other hand is I follow love and I know that many follow love too regardless of what religion they are. Being a mystic does not mean belonging to a secret organisation which covers and keeps secret learnings. Being a mystic does not mean hiding what you have learnt but bringing your findings to light. You are a mystic because you are born this way and cannot help being what you are. The same as being a healer, you are not a healer because you are attuned to a certain healing system but because you were born a healer. No one can tell you what you are, only you can tell yourself what you are. But by training and learning your gifts, you will become greater and more defined and you will find more able to help and serve the light in others as well as yourself. Whoever you are, celebrate your existence and be slow to judge others who are not in the same belief system as you. 
Just as you yourself do not like to be alienated or labelled, treat others the same way. What you believe to be your truth is not the truth and only God's honest truth for everyone, because everyone has their own guidance and versions of the truth. Love always, be an acceptance of others always, and delve deeper into your core. If you find that you too are a mystic, take time to strengthen and purify yourself and your gifts. Have a fantastic day, love and blessings.